August 8 this year marks the 77th anniversary of the Battle of Nankou, the first battle to be waged in China during World War II, following the Japanese occupation of Beijing and Tianjin in 1937. The two-week battle resulted in tens of thousands of casualties on both the Chinese and Japanese sides. Today we'll talk to Jia Shanming, a veteran of the battle. On July 7, 1937. The Japanese military launched a nighttime raid against a Chinese infantry company that was garrisoned near Beijing's Marco Polo Bridge. The raid marked the beginning of Japan's invasion of China. That year, Jia Shanming was just 20 years old, a machine gunner in the Chinese military's 21st Division in North China's Shanxi Province. The government had decided to organize a large-scale campaign around the Great Wall to prevent further encroachment by the Japanese, and Jia was sent to the front lines. On July 7, 1937, Japanese troops attacked the Marco Polo Bridge in Beijing, and our division received orders to head for the front. We started from Shanxi. On August 8, the Japanese army attacked Chinese soldiers in Nanko Township, marking the start of the Battle of Nanko. One week later, Jia and his division arrived. He said the fight was so fierce that he and his fellow troops were immediately sent into battle upon arriving. I fought for five days. At 10 o'clock on the morning of August 21, 1937, I was injured. It was very foggy that morning, and we couldn't see anything on the mountainside. At 10 o'clock, the fog began to dissipate, and Japanese aircraft and artillery began to bombard our position. Of course, they were only 100 meters away from us. We could see their flags and could even hear them talking. Jia said he and his battalion commander were severely injured soon after the Japanese army launched an attack on the morning of August 21st. Jia's left arm was broken by gunfire from a heavy machine gun, and he was transferred to the rear for treatment. But his commander, a man surnamed Yu, was not so lucky. He was killed when a shell exploded near him. Jia made plans to visit Yu's tomb and pay tribute to his commander. After half an hour of driving, Jia set foot on the battlefield he once fought on 77 years ago. When he saw the tombstone of his late commander, he became overwhelmed with emotion. A bugle sounded. And Jia raised his hand in salute toward the tomb. Have a good rest, Commander. Command you. You were killed by explosion. After your death, I was also injured. Today, I come here to keep your company. Let's drink together. With the help of volunteers, Jia inspected the battlefield. But after seven decades. Great changes have taken place there. Seventy-seven years ago, there were no trees on the mountains. Of course, there were no trees, and you could clearly hear and see Japanese soldiers. Jia said his battalion was obliterated by the enemy's heavy fire on August 21st. Jia said he should have been killed himself, but the corpses of dead soldiers protected him. I should have been killed, but the wolf comes shielding me from the bullets. I felt guilty about my dead brothers. We use their bodies as a shield. Yang Guoqing has been researching the Battle of Nanko for nearly ten years. He has turned the basement of his home into a museum of sorts dedicated to the battle. He has collected many relics from the battle, most of which he found on his own. His collection includes bayonets, bullets, helmets, and gas masks. All of the items were immediately familiar to Jia when he visited Yang. Soldiers from nine regiments shot down Japanese aircraft during the Battle of Nanko. This is some debris from the battlefield. These are bomb shells, right? My leg was hit by shell fragment once. This shell must have come from a plane, not from artillery. We also had a canteen. Everyone had a canteen. 
but ours were different from this one. Ours were a little shorter. This is a shoe tag. Japanese soldiers will nail these tags around the outside of the shoes. Do you know what this is? We don't know what it is used for. This is a device used to open granites. If we had a problem with one of our granites, we would use this to open it. This is a bayonet. I measure the bayonet because it's a Japanese bayonet. It's 50 centimeters long. Did you have anything like this? I don't know what that is. This is a Japanese soldier's ID card. ID card? Yes, every Japanese soldier had one. If they were killed, their remains would be shipped to Japan with their ID cards. Did you suffer any gas attacks during the war? No, I didn't. Look at this. This is gas mask. Every Chinese soldier had one. Jia said only three members of his 12-man squad survived the Battle of Nanko. From August 8 to 26, about 26,000 Chinese fought in the battle, with over 29,000 killed. The Japanese military lost 15,000 soldiers during the battle. But for all the suffering he endured, Jia has warm feelings for the Japanese and hopes that people from both sides can live in peace. We have already forgotten the mistakes your grandfathers committed here. For the use of both China and Japan, you are free from hatred. Let's be friends.